welcome to another episode of Spirit Fair. And we almost at the next island that we were going to. So let's continue. Hopefully I can get to the stuff. Oh, where am I going? Maybe there's some sheep. That would be cool. Some normal wood. I'm just gonna run to the end. Time job. I'd rather eat mangoes and watch the sunset. Ugh, no, gross. Mangoes. Ew. I really don't like mangoes. The word moist should be out. <laughs> Why? Where is my brother? He should be here. the set of five traditional wood prints. They date from the Shuru period and as such are valuable, invaluable. I have found four of them but alas the last one eludes me. I'm certain it is in this very village. Furthermore, I am absolutely positive that it was recently in the possession of the local shopkeeper Theodore. But he refuses to even acknowledge its existence. Uh -huh. What an irksome little man. Tanuki, whatever he is. But with your help, yes, that sweet little smile of yours and generally non threatening attitude. But I'm sure you could schmooze your way to acquiring that last precious piece. That would be the last missing piece of the slippery puzzle. Well, go ahead, Skipper, I can't wait. Uh, I want the key. To the door. Hello there. Your tour will commence soon. I'll be calling out when I'm ready. Okay. There's a tour. Where is that child? I've been looking for him all over. He's been acting all sorts of strange. I think he must have eaten a bad fruit or something. You see him? Tell his mother is looking for him. Don't mention that I'm extremely mad. Suddenly, everyone was looking for it. At first, it was this pedantic person, very rude. And worse, they were haggling on everything. I didn't even tell them of the print, I gave them some junk instead. And then later, this giant walrus lady came in and demanded that I sell it to her. The thought crossed my mind to start a bidding war, but she offered me some serious coin for it. 
That lady, let me tell you, she was loaded. Anyway, that's all I know about it. Can't help you with a print, but feel free to bounce my ways. Oh no. Oh, he's got pork. I'll buy two pork, yes. Um, 994 apple seed? Smoky, you socks, dude. Oh, wait, I can sell stuff too. So up takes us that way. But we need a glider for that. Alrighty. Let's talk to her. Oh, she needs food too. Let's mm -hmm. get some food. Mm -hmm. Talk. I'm browsing for some fire. It was her. Uh -huh. But that horrible, that dim witted, eager to still kill, patronizing charlatan. Good one's angry. <laughs> she calls herself the collector, if you can believe it. Uh -huh. She doesn't even collect anything. I'm sure she bought the print only to spite me. She have never told her about my collection. Ugly as suck. Uh -huh. <laughs> well, I'm not the one to wave away competition. Ugly witch is in hiding. In hiding from you. Uh -huh. I don't specifically know why, but the news of a new spirit fair made her skitter away like a puny cockroach. How oh, fitting. Yes, yes, you're a spirit uh -huh. fair. Tell me something. Or something. She know she should have known better than to tell me the location of a hideout though. She's hiding at these coordinates. Uh-huh. Pay her a visit, would you? Will you see her show her this figurine? She'll know. Believe me, she'll know. Uh -huh. This? Oh, don't worry, it's just some junk Theodore gave me. Feed the other peeps too before they get too hungry. Hello. Who did I feed? I need to feed him. Come back here for a place. Oh. I need to feed you. Pork chops on the way into my heart. Yes, food.
let's get some grace. Oh, oh, Stella, is there anything better than this earth mm. than a bowl of grain salad? Oh, we found her favorite. Awesome. Oh, you are welcome. Oh, to mm. Mm. I've been wondering what her favorite was. Okay, let's go to the map and see where we should be going next. these ones. to do here. Doesn't seem like it either.
I still need to give her the music box. Find something else. Oh, I forgot we even had that. It's an old manual for a golden royal. Mm -hmm. Remember they had this as first prize in the town's Yuri Tombola? I dreamed of having this machine since second grade, but father would never let me participate in the lottery. This manual will come in handy. Mm -hmm. You can use it as an upgrade for your loom. Ah, that's mm -hmm. how I get an upgrade. Yeah, let's get back to the boat. We are on the boat. I forget this place ever existed. Okay, let's uh, do some other ones. <laughs> One sheep, two sheep, talk to the cowardly, travel to Susan. Let's see if we can give her. I think she was. Three stones. An amethyst. What a treat. Amethyst are healing stones, you know. Ailments, emotional issues, nightmares, and other afflictions can be cured with the power of amethyst. They're great to balance chakras as well. Specifically the crown chakra. Okay. I need to give it three, so let's give her a tree. Do you know that citrine promoted motivation and activated creativity? I've also heard that it encourages self-expression and enhances concentration. A true mind revitalizer and emotion emotions balancing stone. Mm. Stone of seduction which resonates with burning desires and releases inhibition. It stabilizes emotions as well. In other contexts, opal also brings about loyalty and faithfulness. Alrighty, so that one is done. Stella. You just pull the plant to help, why don't you? Well, that last gem, my basic medicine cabinet is complete. And since my meditation room is already furnished with a nice little altar, you can come by and admire it at any time. In any case, I'm truly grateful for all of your help. You were always, after all, a radiating presence, a beacon of light. Stella, I hadn't planned on it, but I think I have something more important to teach you. But our next class, well, we'll have to leave the boat for it. I've heard of a nice spot in Mount Toriyama on a cliff overlooking the horizon. I think it would make for a nice classroom. I'm ready when you are just set sail. 
Okay, cool. I got a new quest from her. Yeah, I need to pay more attention to the quests. Nostalgia is not my forte. I'm slightly happy the villa is still in good condition. Or is it? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's change the subject. You must have noticed the improved tab on your blueprint table. Through there, you can add decorative elements to the spirit houses and the stations. Mm -hmm. It's time to upgrade the loom of yours. Once you've got the required resources, go for it. It's the only way to craft fabric from mm -hmm. spread. Go on. Mm -hmm. okay. Great. Always ahead of the pack. Mm -hmm. oh, I already did that. Now the loom is fully useful. Of course, many stations can be upgraded. You just have to find the blueprints for them and the materials, of mm -hmm. course. So now I believe it's time for me to teach you advanced loom techniques. Yes, it's a thing. Mm -hmm. There are a few improvements you can make to the machine itself. Depends on how you place your hands on the machine. How you arrange threads as you load it up is a big impact mm -hmm. to you. With a few simple tricks, you'll be able to craft much more intricate items. Fabric, actually. Here, let's go and take mm -hmm. a look. We can finally craft fabric from thread. Okay, but I need to go and get the pork chop out. Pork chop. They look so damn tasty, Ooh. and they are. Ooh. Sprout, you're a miracle, you know that? Okay, this is just so good. Ooh. Now I feel just a bit guilty, and I'm sorry you're running all these cavalry in errands for me. Ooh. Look, there was this kid at work, Craig. He used to have these long and tight union negotiations, Ooh. all nighters. Everyone would be at a standstill. Everyone was so hungry and every restaurant was closed. Ooh. I would send Craig on these endless 24-hour grocery store calls for me. I would ask for these impossible gets, saffron, sumac, or even anise. It was something like 2 o'clock in the morning. Ooh. Our goal was to make the tastiest chops in the world. A meal for everyone. On both sides of the table. To calm heads and appease stomachs. First part didn't always work, but everyone was also well, always well fed. I don't know how he did it, but Craig would always find everything on the oh. list. I would joke with him that he would have to break into people's houses to get this stuff. Jeez, maybe he did. <laughs> I don't know how you did it, Sprout. Oh. You made it taste like home. Here's to you and Craig. Nice. No wonder. That's not how it is. See her in the room one last time. Okay, let's uh, make those. Mm-hmm. 
Look, I need to tell you about Doug. He called me the night the father died. Mum was still on the plane and he could talk to anyone else. He couldn't talk to anyone else. Mm -hmm. He was polite and very articulate. We chatted for an hour or so and he cried only twice. It didn't strike me at the time, but he was in a bar, mm -hmm. which was up for an accountant. He told me father's last words were that he loved me. Mm -hmm. We never talked again. Well, that's sad. Mm -hmm. Is that it? Hmm. I could go for an amuse bouge. Amuse bouge. Amuse bouge. Mm -hmm. Give us some popcorn. This is outrageously mm -hmm. good. Comfort food always tastes so good. I do agree. Okay. Where are we going to be off to next? I have no idea what the hell to do here. Nebula pillbox. I don't know where they are. Rose end ink. Where's 150? That's 53, is 7, 50. Oh, she, she's up here somewhere. Okay, so she's there somewhere. Oh, that sucks, but she's, that's behind the eyes. to get these books. That's just fishing. Who wants to fish? I don't. But I need more monies. Let's go do that one. Because I have no idea how to play or get these nebula bugs. Let's go sleep. Oh, we can't sleep. Not yet, anyway. Let's go. Shiny. Delicious. Let's 
Just gonna plant. Because D is like 400 coins. And I need like 16,000, I think. I can't even remember what I needed for the icebreaker thing. But I know it was pricey. Just move on. 
Cheers, come on. I think it's at the beginning island that we went to. Yeah, so let's navigate to that beginning island. I know for a fact there's a... Um, so the beginning island was right here. Old Harbour. Where are we? There. Um, let's go up there and then. I don't really want to do the sea dragon thing. That's kind of a pain in the butt. You're so hungry. I just fed you. Got a bucket of fried chicken. Feed it to anybody. I'm just gonna sell the tea because the tea is gonna give me some money. Let's tell us the line here. Let's give her some comfort food. There we go. Can't eat the same thing twice. Oh, yeah, she that's the last thing I've fed her. So let's give her that. Love it. Nice. You know, when I accepted that promotion at Global, I genuinely thought I could succeed, and I almost did. But weren't for my sickness, I could have made a difference. When I moved upstate, I had to, I had to have my piano and my sewing machine transferred. So I just stayed there after to avoid the trouble. Everywhere I went, I ran into the McMillions. Chad always wanted me to get out with him and his friends, but I just never happened to trust them. They're douchebags. <laughs> well, I just don't use that word lightly. Okay, wow. Thanks, old lady. Just gonna make tea. Um. 
I don't want to take that long staircase away because I used that. <laughs> okay, let's, let's go like this. Gonna leave two spaces. I've got one and I can jump over. This one. Have I I can just go plant some stuff first. Or I can speak to the other days. I need linen, coffee, and rice. Textures, the tones, the coziness. It's pretty. Mm -hmm. It's perfect. Look at you listening to me and building such a nice cabin for me. I won't forget this. I like the pink and the teal. It does look good. Better not forget it. Damn it. It's a lot of hard work. Okay, let's go see what we can see. Because there should be wood and stuff. Spot. Hello. Oh. Welcome, welcome. We are the Hummingbird Preservation Society, which was established by, well, me. Oh. I was tired of sitting around and not doing anything. My name is Jabari Simons, and I believe in cleanliness. Believe in a clean hummingbird. Oh. That's why and I and other volunteers are here. We want to restore this harbor badly in need of a paint job. Oh, oh. Bring back that spark. There used to be an old boat docked here. We could have used the materials to rebuild these homes. Oh, oh. Someone has apparently stolen it. People do silly things sometimes. If you'd like to give us a hand, we're always looking for volunteers. Oh, oh. Right now, I think we just want to get those crates out of the water. Oh, I'll do that. I'll right here, of course. I should have done this in the beginning. Ooh. I would have had stuff. The place is so dirty, I can't believe it. I guess I, how do I get in the water? job that was great i'll keep painting and clean we'll keep painting and cleaning those stains probably get rid of that dumpster oh. i heard what i think was a possum in there sometimes that's the way it goes that's what happens day in and day out over here oh. repair restore repeat that's our motto 
with three R's of a hummingbird preservation society. Oh. Hopefully no one is already using that motto. Well, back to business. Here's a small but crucial shopping list. If we get all of that, we'll be able to give this beaut the shine she oh. deserves. Thanks again for your precious help. I'm seeing ya. Okay, bye bye. Bye bye. Hello. What are you doing up here? Who used to live here? Animals? That's who. Animals and me. Oh, I fell in love. Did not mean to do Oh. I just believe in hummingbird preservation society mission so much. Okay, so nothing more. So we can't do anything to the dustbin. Definitely something inside you. Yeah, I can hear it. I can hear the shinies. Alrighty. Um. We've planted stuff in there. Let's see if the stuff is ready. Yes, it is. Let's water that. Let's see what uh, icebreaker fishing. Okay, he wants fried chicken. I have not seen chickens yet. One second sheep. Talk to cow. Let's see. Oh, that's on the other side of the oh, ice. I do need to go. So let's go find a sheep. I think I remember where the sheep was. I don't know. Yeah. Hope I remember where the sheep. We found a fluffy white sheep. Where was it? Here? Yeah. Is it here? Was it here? I think it was here. Has respawned on this island. Then we need to go to Toriyama. Sheep. It's a dog, damn it. I did say sheep, okay. Let's sleep quickly. We'll plot a route and go. Let's go there, then there. 
there. There. That doesn't want to. Can, I can't do more than three places. Fine, let's go do that. Very good setup for the night. Sorry, I just think I need some space. Just a bit of time by myself. Mm. I knew going back to the villa was a bad idea. Sorry, this doesn't have anything to do with you. Been doing nothing. You've been nothing but great since you found me on that island. Mm -hmm. You just need to be alone for a while. Sure. Take it up.
This is the place where we went on a tour. Castle glue and find silk threads. Oh, okay. How do I read my quests? Okay, well we've got a sheep, so we need to go to Mount oh, I need to speak to you. <laughs> find your first treasure map. You might find something interesting from it. Look inside, you'll find coordinates of some treasure. Okay. I shall do so. Paella. So is anything seafood and rice is paella.
How's my inventory? Future customer, this is Madison at Fidorama. We are currently running a promotion for our new food delivery service. Stop on by by Hummingbird to hear all about it. Okay.
This one is just gonna be tea for now. We need any money. the sheep off my boat. Is there another sheep? Oh yeah, there we go. We are here. What a nice quaint place. And a view. Well, it can't be beaten, can it? Yes, this will be perfect. I see a little promontory up that cliff there. Just go ahead, I'll meet you there. Why will I do it? Oh, don't worry, I'm sure I'll manage to snake my way out. The sheep in the pen. Oh. There you go, little shibby. Good job. Oh. You brought a second sheep. Oh, look at them. They're so happy together. Oh. Are they acting kind of coldly? That's surprising. Well, they just have to get to know each other. Oh. I'm sure they'll be best of friends in no time. As for me, well, it was nice feeling needed. Oh. You want me to join you on your travels? Oh, no, 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 no. I couldn't possibly impose myself on all of you. Besides, I'm sure there's no room for me. I'm sure this island is a little bare, but uh, I'm sure a little house could fit quite nicely here. A little bungalow with nice vines and potted flowers, maybe? Pale tones and a cozy cottage facade. And green window shades. My, that would be so wonderful. Oh, sorry, I was lost in my thoughts. Now you go ahead. I'll just, I'll be just fine with that. Alice's cottage. So we are building a new cottage. Okay, well, we'll go build our cottage because we need the sheep. Is this locked? Thank you. 
touch my touch, have I? Might be old, but I still have a few tricks up my sleeve. And beating younglings in a climbing race has always been a specialty of mine. But enough of this, let's focus on the matter at hand. This lesson, as you might have guessed, will be a little bit special. Up to now, we focused on proper care of plants and crops. Well, now I think it's time for us to concentrate on proper care of one's mind. Sunlight and music were the tools of the former. Well, for the latter, our tool will be the act of meditating. And that's specifically why I brought you here. See this boulder? It hasn't been consecrated for nothing. Powerful spiritual energies flow through the air. I know, I know, it might seem strange, hot even, but just humor me. First thing first, to sit down next to me like this. Alright, you'll do. Meditation style is an affair of wholeness, wholeness and oneness. A lot of novices believe wrongfully that meditation is a pursuit of an empty mind. But the mind is not empty, Stella. It is a beast, a savage and untamed. Violent and caring, loving and destructive. Hateful, curious, scared, a ball of frayed nerves. Much like the dragon, it cannot be controlled. It must be allowed to roam free. Mm, are we roaming free? My father also lived with this tormented creature. Of a different kind, perhaps. Stop talking, we're meditating. Shush. We chose to fight it. Tried to muscle it down into submission. To mark it under the auspice of violence. And mostly to silence it. We thought that nothingness was the solution. The dragon is indomitable. Indomitable. Indomit I don't know that word. The fight left my father a broken man. Let your mind wander, Stella. Gently, like you would a scared kitty. Let it smell the grass. Let it notice the wind flowing through your hair. The heat radiating from the stone behind you. The rhythmic breaking of waves below. Let your spirit penetrate all things, not to make them yours, but to make yourself theirs. Be one and be whole, but keep being. Okay, let's go build a cabin for that chick. You were up there for hours. I just had to stretch my legs at some point. Legs? What legs? Oh, what are you saying? A vision? No. Oops. You're the spirit fairer after all. The mystical energies of this world are bound to affect you in mysterious ways. I'm sure there are other such areas of power. If you find them, be sure to take the time to meditate. Oh, that's what all the stones are for. Perhaps more visions will weigh down upon your mind. You know, Stella, while you were up there, I tried to do some thinking. Oh, that's dangerous. I wanted to prepare for our next lesson. There's still so much to teach. But I couldn't think. My mind was uneasy. Well, you see, I too have had a vision. A gift from the universe. It's the dragon, Stella. I felt him creeping slowly towards me. I thought I had some grand purpose to accomplish before he would swallow me whole. But now I realize that the dragon hasn't crept much at all. 
has kept up with me for quite a while now. And ignoring it won't do me any good. Well, let's go, shall we? Okay, wish that shall. Now we can go. Dang it. Well, we ain't going far. It's too dark to navigate, but it's not too dark to go. We need oak planks. Fishing is like I think I might move this one down. Maybe this one down. Move this over. Let's build it. And then we move stuff. Let's move this one down. a house for me? I shouldn't have really, but since it's there, well I guess it'd be rude to, for me not to move in. Thank you so very much, sweetheart. Do you want to wake up and feed them? Can I bring your sheep for two? Bum. Slow work. Ooh, 
this far I really appreciate it and if you haven't subscribed yet please do so would really appreciate it hit the notification bell if you want to know when I go live or post another video don't forget to hit the like button if you enjoyed my content and have a wonderful evening afternoon or morning wherever you are and I will catch you in the next one